a 12 step program right and they have they it's all 12 steps and the steps are all the same they're very similar but there's a little bits of language that are different and the one i use we we just prefer to say clean mm. we feel it's you know all encompassing it's drugs and alcohol mm-hmm. and you know it could be whatever yeah but it's it's a little more wide of a net right well with that in in mind i mean i changed a ton of my lifestyle and you know that article that came out about you just made me reinforce the fact that it could be done and you know there was a lot of at that time that that article came out it was a lot of bigger chefs uh in the country like bigger names like sean brock came out about his issues and uh joe beef joe beef was a big one and i I, well they they were they were a little while after me they, was, that, <laughs> they were like yeah. a year later, but but the, what's the uh, Daniel Patterson too? I think wrote a piece, but it was more about it? mental health instead of like it's uh, a, the whole thing. Yeah, well, they're it's, all related. It's all it's all related, but it just made me feel less alone right. about the idea because you know when you're on the pirate ship oh. of being a cook, you know everyone's on it together and everyone's kind of doing a lot of the same things, so no one's going to speak out and say, hey, you know, I I want to change my life or. You know, everyone's worried that if they say, I want to change my life, they're going to look at you like, oh, you're a fucking pussy, man. Like, that's that's always, I, I felt like when I was younger, that was the worry. Like, oh, you don't want to, you're not one of us. Then, you know, you don't want to go out drinking all night and do lines till five in the morning? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sounds like a good time. But, you know, it's, it, I it's think. It's hard because when you're young and it's part of the culture, you're like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I right. just cut, did like 300 covers and we nailed it. Right. I'm going to go out and get drunk with everyone and we're going to do a bunch of white stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're going to come back the next day and do the same fucking thing. It's going to be amazing. That's so cool. And I can sleep late. That's kind of one of the reasons I got into, like, went to cooking instead of law school. I thought I could sleep late. So I thought I could drink late and then sleep late. But then, as you know, you get higher up in your career, you become an owner, and there is no sleeping late. Yeah. I mean, my store is pretty similar. Um, You know, I was working at a restaurant. I was having a good time drinking and just like... I was like, man, I gotta have fun forever. It sounds great, but then it catches up to you, and I think that that's when the mental health aspect really starts to creep in later on in your career when you've been doing it for close to a decade or five years or six years, and your body's just worn down and mentally, you're like, where the fuck am I? So, in several ways, you helped my oh. me in my personal journey and in my career several times. So I can only say thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. You're you're too kind with all the praise, but I I appreciate it and I'll take it. I'll have to pay that forward a little and say that is all possible because uh, Chef Allen, the guy who mentored me for the first five years of my cooking career, was like totally cool with me just like leaving service one Saturday and going to rehab instead of finishing service. And he was very supportive of that decision and has been cool with me ever since. He let me come back to the restaurant, even though when I was in rehab, I sent him an email like, Chef, uh, I can't come back there. I quit. Yeah, and then he let me come back, and then he gave me the chance to lead that restaurant as the chef de cuisine, and he was he was just an amazing influence and amazingly compassionate and patient and kind, allowing me to go through start my recovery journey. So, so the people in Salina can have context. Chef Alan Alan Susser, see this move I'm about to pull. I pulled this. I'm Susser. learning from Nick here. Huh. Um, Alan Susser, part of the Mango Gang, right? Yep. Him One and of them. Yeah, him and Norman, one of the pillars of, like, South Florida cuisine.